in one of the sparsely populated areas of France. One can find a historic mill where bread was once made in an authentic way. But it was much more than a mere mill. The building was once a home and was inhabited by a family who supplied to their own consumption. After being abandoned now for nearly 30 years, nature has started creeping in. Nevertheless, plentiful kitchen products and foodstuffs still roam around where they were once left behind. Let's take a glimpse inside this remarkable building, where we will find many historical artifacts and parts of the old production process. Welcome back everyone on a brand new episode and today I'm standing in such a very special place. As you can see right behind me there is a beautiful landscape, a river and this river was leading to the place that I will be showcasing to you today, namely an abandoned mill. The river was streaming to the mill and the people that once resided in this place because yes it was not solely a mill, it was actually a house where people lived and they were making their own bread. It's gonna be amazing and it's so serene, peaceful and calm air. I just really like it. I can stand it for hours and hours, but without further ado, let's start the exploration now and let's not wait you guys for any longer. Let's go. All right, so I'm inside this very old building and what you're about to see today is absolutely gonna captivate you as it did to me. We're gonna explore a very traditional place together here in France. Just gonna start off right over here. And look, we still got some stuff inside the cabinets. What's this over here? I think it's some kind of food product, but I'm not gonna open it. Wow. <laughs> Still got some of their cutlery inside here. Look at all the spider webs over here as well. This place has been sitting here abandoned for a severe amount of time. That's one thing for sure. And I haven't told you yet where I'm actually standing right now, but I'm standing in this adorable kitchen, a very traditional one. As you can see, this property is built in a timbered style with all the wooden bars and a lot of stone. Look over here. Some very decayed newspapers. What year are they from? Wow. December 1993. That's a long time ago. 28 years of abandonment, nearly 30 years. That's impressive. was nearly falling down there. This was the fridge. <laughs> That's even a, sp uh, a bottle for a baby or something. Just look at the traditional tiles over here. We still got 
There's spice standing here as well. And are those real onions? No way. They must be plastic. Yeah. Plastic onions as decoration. A lot of them. What I especially like about this place is that everything we're gonna see together is so traditional. It also counts for this fireplace where they were storing some of their glasses. Right inside the fireplace we still got some nets and when there was a fire over here, they could place some pots, for example, on top of it or some pans and boil soup or, yeah, through a kettle, just through a very old fashioned manner, very authentic and traditional. And we're gonna make a way to the next area, right in front of me and have a look at it. <laughs> Is a real beauty and it's so unique. Over here in the middle we have a table, still with the chairs standing all around it. Some candles, fake flowers. Wow, another beautiful stone fireplace, a fairly big one. Look at the huge portal over here. Now what I especially love is you can still see the old machinery that was involved in their process of bread making. It was not just a house, but it was a house connected to a mill. And as you saw during the introduction, the river that's flowing right beneath this house was actually delivering the current and the power to make the bread. It feels almost like a vintage museum in bread making. Talking about bread, I'm really getting hungry. I so badly just want a French baguette or a French croissant maintenant. Maintenant is the English word or the French word for now. I just thought it was funny as it's rhyming. You can see outside it's entirely submerged in all the vegetation. The day is a quite sunshiny day in contrast with the other days when it was raining all the time in this region. You can tell that somebody is still trying to preserve this place by putting mainstays and scaffolding inside this building. Wow, <laughs> look at this. Used to be a light bulb inside. This probably used to be like some sort of cabinet one day and behind it was everything for their power supply. All the light switches over here as well. I've never ever seen a property with this building style and this interior. As I told you, it's gonna be a little exploration, but it's one I definitely wanted to highlight on this channel as it's different and you and I just love difference. Some canned vegetables over here. Just gonna walk around here for a while. Whoa. Nothing inside anymore, but seems I'm the first person opening this in a long while. And if you hear closely, you can still hear the river flowing on the background. Oh, 
wow. This also seems like another part that was once used in the process of making their own bread. Those must have been some pillows and cushions for maybe the seeds inside or maybe some garden chairs and seeds. This was a barbecue. You can still see some of the charcoal laying down beneath it. Oh, and this was definitely the storage for all their wood, for the wood burning stoves. Still a sunscreen as well for in their garden. Let's see where this is going. If I can open it at least. Why oh, is this? Oh, as you can see, somebody tried to close it. Okay, it's very hard to do this with a camera in my hand. I'm gonna try my best. I'm afraid I cannot open it or... Oh, I can. All right, there we go. <laughs> Look at this, guys. So, I just made my way to a complete different environment. The outside that you already saw during the introduction. Now I'm curious if there is also still a building right behind it for the actual mill, but I think there isn't. Nevertheless, it's beautiful here, serene, very, very beautiful. I try to make my way through all this dense vegetation in the hope now to find the actual mill. Well, those ones are not very friendly as they are thorn bushes. Look at this structure over here. Wow, it's in a very dilapidated state. But it looks like this used to be another building one day, a part of the mill maybe. It's entirely collapsed. Dang. But anyway, let's go back inside now, as you've already seen most of here, at least for a glimpse during the introduction. So I almost wanted to go back inside until I found this. Let's see if I can get this on camera for a little. But as you can see, right down beneath there, the water would flow inside. And probably right down beneath it is the entire mechanism that was delivering the power for the bread making process. Wow, it's amazing. It's as far as I can go because over here is an entire slope and it's going down and I will fall into the muddy water. Maybe it's even uh, like sand where I would drown in. I don't know, better be safe. Now let's really go back inside. All right, there we go. Let's walk up these massive stone chairs over here. As you can see, a lot of porcelain has been broken, maybe smashed by other people entering during these 28 years. This is so charming. Still got a record player over here as well. I want to open this chest. How does it work? I think you have to lift this up. Yeah, you have to. Well, I'm gonna put these ornaments on the ground. Same for the record player. 
is I want to find out what's right in, in this chest. Whoa, this one is massive. There we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> there is nothing inside. Empty. That's a disappointment. I'm putting those ones back in the state. I found it. <laughs> Come on. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then look over here, we have some other seats around, a tiny table in the middle. We've got an electric heater over here as well. <laughs> Look at the name of this heater, by the way. Pussycat. <laughs> That's so odd. <laughs> okay. Never forget to laugh, guys. It's also really important. Now look over here. Wow. It's still transmitting. It's crazy. It's quite rusty though, but... It's quite fascinating to see how this mechanism is still transmitting and it's probably for the mill that's right down beneath here. Really cool. Where you have more of those. I think they were really used to regulate maybe the flow of water or something. Well, some more storage in here. Oh, how cool. I mean, it's not that they're really like valuable items or something are left, but I just love the fact that things are still in place. And it's just a very unique place to explore, just the way everything is built. And just to imagine that one day, there used to be life inside those four walls. That's so fascinating. All right. And then it's time to go upstairs. We can see how some of the ceiling sort of draperies are all just fallen down one by one. Some beautiful natural sunlight is falling through there. Place is in such a dilapidated state. But of course, if nobody's maintaining it, that's what happens after 28 years, which is a fairly long time for a place to be abandoned, to be honest. In some countries, the state would just decide to grab a bulldozer and just demolish the building. But look at this. Over here, built in between the curtains, they placed the a bed. How neat is that? A little candlelight over there. What's right over here? Oh, it's leading to the next area as well. Wow. Looks like this was their sort of shed. Plenty of boxes over there. I do not really trust the floor here though. Everything feels quite weak. We still have some boots standing over there as well. The roof panels. Yeah, well, there's not that much to see here. I saw that there's one other room over there. There's one tiny door. I really have to watch my head with all those cobwebs above me. What? <laughs> Guys! 
Look at this. That's brilliant. <laughs> wow. No freaking way. Look at this bed. <laughs> That's so unique. I've never seen anything like that. It strongly reminds me of the Flintstones. I don't know why. Probably because of the draperies on the sides. With this shape. Like the car or the mobile of the Flintstones also used to have. Wow. The beautiful wooden carvings. This is definitely a top way to end this explore with this room. My gosh. It's so unique. There are even wardrobes over here. Well, the clothes hooks are still there, but the clothes itself seem missing. This is so cool. <laughs> the bed's just still made up. It's absolutely insane. Another portable heater over there. Oxygenated water. That's still a blanket inside there. Dang. Where's this leading to? Oh, no way. Yeah, and this was the private bathroom, so it's evident. Despite this was a mill where bread was produced and made, this was also a place where people actually lived one day almost 30 years ago for the last time the shower it's absolutely unique toilets some other tiny doors over here well in a very decayed state i think that was a brush that was used for their shoes This was really cool, unexpected, and in general, a really special place, a particular place, not like the others. So I'm gonna sit down here and yeah, just one time, look at the beautiful bed. And that's where I'm gonna close today's video and this was such a special and unexpected journey together i'd roughly want to thank everybody for making it to this point of the video and yeah doing this exploration together as one explomo fam and if you enjoyed the adventure along with me you already know the drill do not forget to smash a like on this video and support us for free also feel free to leave a comment right down below and if you like this video, we have many more videos just like this one online on our channel. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to. Also, we have a Patreon page and a PayPal link if you want to contribute to our journeys all over the world, to all those interesting and deserted sites. And yeah, with that having said, I want to wish everybody a wonderful week. Much love, peace and blessings. And we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out.